Authorization using OAuth 2 can be complicated. In AppScript, this is all handled for you. But if you need to use some service that isn't a service or an advanced service from AppScript, you need to manage your own tokens and authentication scenarios. The objective of OAuth 2 is to end up with an access token that you can use to prove that you're allowed to access a particular resource. This video will look at the simplest way to do that, namely let AppScript handle it for you and borrow the tokens that it manages. This is not always possible of course, but if you need to access an API that happens to need the same scopes as AppScript is capable of handling, then you can borrow its access tokens to get to your API. An example of this is the Drive JSON API. Both the Drive App Service and the Drive Advanced Services manage a token that needs the same scopes as you'll usually need for the Drive JSON API. So how do you know if it can provide the scopes that you need? Well, first of all, go to the Developers Console project for your for this project, and then enable the API you want to use. Here I want to use the Drive API. Next, we can go to the API Explorer and turn this thing on. And what pops up is all the Drive scopes that you might need if you're using this API. Now, I'm, I'm going to use a read-only one, so I need at least that. So let's remember that. And then back in the project, we should be able to see the scopes it knows about at the moment through the project properties, scopes, and of course it doesn't use a, know about any because it's a blank script right now. So one of the great things you can do with AppScript is to mention a service, even as a comment, and it'll provoke an authorization dialog. So I'm mentioning driveapp.get files, and I'll run this function. It doesn't do anything yet. So now it takes us into an authorization dialog, which is great and it mentions it wants to see Drive, which is also what we want. We'll allow that. So now when I go into Project Properties, look at Scopes, you can see that I'm now authorized to use the Drive Scope. So what that means is that now AppScript is going to take care of managing, refreshing tokens, getting tokens, and all the rest of it with a scope like this. So I can just borrow it. So let's write a quick script that gets the metadata of the file using the Drive JSON API. It's expecting to get past an access token, which will be used to allow it to access the drive resource. So this will pick up any files that contain the word go in on them. As per this query, this is the same query as you can use in the drive UI. And I'll also just take back a few of the fields available. Now, without an access token, this would fail as unauthorized. However, I'm going to be using the access token that I'm going to pass to this function. So that's, all, that, that's the function. It's very simple. So here's how we borrow the token that's scoped according to what AppScript knows about, which if you recall, I'll go back and check it again, was Drive and also so scope for an external request now because of course I'm doing a, a URL fetch. I'm doing that down here to be able to talk to the JSON API. So we're ready to run this now. So this will be the authorization request for the URL fetch, which it will add to the Drive authorization that we previously got. And now we can check the logged results. And there's the file properties that I wanted. So that's as easy as access tokens get. So to recap, we can get the token that AppScript manages by from the script app service by using the get auth token method. In future videos in this series, I'll look at some more complicated scenarios where you have to get and manage your own access tokens. More information on this example as well as the code on my site at that URL. And of course, you'll find lots more techniques like this in my book, Going Gas.